So the girls and I are getting ready to go do our weekly shopping trip and I've created our meal plan. We're gonna to put together some meals and share some of those with you this week. These will all be um, seven points or lower on Weight Watchers Freestyle. that I mentioned in last week's video. It's from The Skinniest Dish and I will list that recipe below. Um, I use three cans of crushed tomatoes. I think it also calls for another type of tomatoes. Um, they're more chunky and my family doesn't like that so I just use this. So three cans of crushed tomatoes go in. Then you use um, two tablespoons of basil, two, two tablespoons of oregano, three tablespoons of minced garlic, you chop up an onion, about this size, medium size onion, then one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. Then when you put it in your uh, crock pot, you wanna let it cook for about eight hours. We're a little messed up. Everything is in the crock pot. I'm just going to stir it all together and let that go for eight hours. And then what I do, this makes a good bit, so I usually freeze it and just use it as I need it for two or three weeks for just um, meals that I would use marinara sauce for. So tonight we're going to have cheese lasagna rolls, and this is from SkinnyTaste.com, and I will link this recipe below. These I actually had frozen, so I will transfer these to a lasagna pan. I'll put some of the marinara sauce on the bottom of the pan and then I'll put the cheese lasagna rolls in. I'll top them with one tablespoon of mozzarella cheese and, and I will also put sauce over the top of all of them and then bake them for about 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees. So I'll link this recipe below as well. The recipe that I'll link is actually for a spinach lasagna roll, but my people don't eat spinach so I just eliminated that and basically the filling is made with ricotta cheese um, an egg, salt and pepper, and Parmesan cheese. And then it's just a lasagna noodle. six points each on freestyle. And we taking a walk on the Yep, we're gonna take, take a walk. We didn't explain the step back the other day, but basically what it is is where you put in a certain amount of money to hold yourself accountable, and then you have to walk four days 
like 7,800 steps and two days over 10,000 steps. And then if you do that, you get your money back and some of the money from the people that um, basically did not get all their steps in. And it's different for each person. It basically uses like your Apple Health data to determine what your step goals need to be. Tonight for dinner, we're going to have these sirloin steaks. These are going to be cut up with a little bit of salt and pepper and with this P.F. Chang's um, Mongolian sauce. And the sirloin steak is three points for about three ounces. And the, um, the sauce is one point for about a tablespoon, which is about the amount that you would end up having on there. I usually don't count sauces, but if you do, you would count that as four points for the three ounces with the sauce. So we're gonna have this with green beans in this um, Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. The rice works out to six or seven points for a cup. I usually only do a half cup with that. So that's gonna be about um, seven points for the meal. Lucky endings were not something, were not something. So that's the steak. It's about medium rare now and I just put the sauce on it. It really does not take very much. I have almost the whole bottle left. Um, so really I don't, I'm not going to count more than a point. Like I said, I usually don't really count sauces unless they're very high. Um, but this is going to work out to probably about half a tablespoon serving per um, person. That's my best guess on this. But I'm going to let it cook just a little bit longer and um, then I'm going to pull it off the heat because we like ours to be between medium rare and medium. So here's dinner, green beans, a half a cup of rice, and the sirloin steak with the Mongolian uh, barbecue sauce on it. And that would be four points for the rice, three points for the steak, and zero for the beans. So seven points for the meal. Tonight we're going to do chicken fritters, which are one point each, and also we're going to do green bean fries. These are really one point or possibly less uh, than one point per serving. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make these. The green bean fries, just going to get a package of fresh, um, not frozen and not canned green beans, and you're going to put them in a large Ziploc bag. Just dump them in. I'm just going to put one teaspoon of avocado oil in the green beans and I'm just going to shake it up really good. get a coating of oil all over the green beans and then pour them out on a pan and then you're going to sprinkle some sea salt on there and that's pretty much it you're just going to bake this in the oven at about 400 and it's usually about 20 minutes you need to flip them halfway 
So we're also gonna be making chicken fritters tonight and we took 16 ounces of chopped up chicken and I've already put three tablespoons of flour in there. Katie's gonna go ahead and add an egg. We need one and a half tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. One garlic clove, I'm just gonna put a little bit of minced garlic in here. Okay, then we need a tablespoon of basil. And a tablespoon of parsley. and a tablespoon of chives. That's probably gonna have to pour in. Okay, and then a pinch of salt and pepper. And then we need one half cup of um, reduced fat. I have the 2% milk um, mozzarella cheese. This also calls for chili powder, but I'm gonna eliminate that just because um, I don't want it to be too spicy for kids. And then we're just gonna mix it up. Try to get everything to stick together a little bit. And then we're gonna cook those on the stove in a couple of tablespoons of oil. So I've sprayed the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up and, it, and then I'm gonna add two teaspoons of oil. I'm using avocado oil. And then we're just gonna, we're gonna um, make patties out of the chicken mixture and we're gonna go ahead and fry them in the pan. Dreaming all the time when I get things right. Lost in the shadows of a million stars. Shouldn't they light in my near and far? Shouldn't they just tell me where you are Send a prayer if I'm out of luck Send a little love and I'll make it back Send me a letter and a bottle of wine Telling me I will be fine Baby, I'm stuck with a Okay, here's our dinner. This is the chicken fritter and the green bean fries. So this would be two points, and if you wanted a second chicken fritter, then you could add another point. I'll go ahead and post both of these recipes in the description box below. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this video with Weight Watchers recipes, seven points or less. I'll list all of the recipes in the description box below. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, please subscribe to our channel. If there's any way we can pray for you this week, let us know in the comments below or on Instagram at rbless.life.